out here today to do the POWMIA service. We'd also like to thank CMA for including us in this program. Would you please stand silently with me as Willie and Mark, both Vietnam combat medals, as they present and drape the POWMIA flag. This table before you is set in a place of special honor. It is set for one. This table is our way of symbolizing the fact that members of our profession of arms are missing from our midst. They are commonly called POWs or MIAs. We call them brothers. They are unable to be with us today, and so we pause to remember them. This table is small. Remember. The tablecloth is white symbolizing the purity of their intention to respond to their country's call to arms. Remember, the single rose displayed in a vase reminds us of the families and loved ones of our comrades in arms who keep the faith awaiting their return. Remember, the red ribbon tied so prominently on the vase is reminiscent of the red ribbon worn upon the lapel and breasts of thousands of Americans who bear witness to their unyielding determination to demand a proper accounting of our missing. Remember, the candle is lit. It symbolizes the upward reach of their unconquerable spirit. Remember, a slice of lemon on the bread plate reminds us of their bitter fate. Bitter fate. Remember, there is salt upon the bread plate, symbolic of the family's tears as they wait. Remember, the glass the glass is inverted. They cannot toast with us this day. Remember, the flag, folded three-cornered, reminds us that far too many died in the bitter chains of captivity, leaving their bones on some foreign land or battlefield to enrich the soil where they fell. Remember, the chair, the chair is empty. They are not with us today. Remember. The Bible on the table reminds us that faith in God is the one source of true freedom. Trust in God can bring liberty even in the midst of captivity. Remember. Remember all of you who served with them, called them comrade, who depended upon their might and their aid, and relied upon them. For surely they have not forsaken us. Remember. Remember until the day they are returned home, Remember. I would like to read for you. How many folks here today are veterans? Thank you for your service and welcome home. We learn this stuff and we believe it. I'd like to read the military codes. Code 1. I am an American fighting man. I serve in the forces which guard my country and our way of life. I am prepared to give my life in its defense. Second clause. I will never surrender of my own free will. If in command, I will never surrender my men while they still have the means to resist. Third clause. If I am captured, I will continue to resist by all means available. I will make every effort to escape and to aid others to escape. I will accept neither parole nor special favors from the enemy. The fourth, if I become a prisoner of war, I will keep faith with my fellow prisoners. I will give no information nor take part in any action which might be harmful to my comrades. If I am senior, I will take command. If not, 
I will obey the lawful orders of those appointed over me and will back them in every way. The fifth article. When questioned, if I should become a prisoner of war, I am bound to give only name, rank, and service number, date of birth. I will evade answering further questions to the utmost of my ability. I will make no oral or written statements disloyal to my country, its allies, or harmful to their cause. And the last clause reads, I will never forget that I am an American fighting man, responsible for my actions and dedicated to the principles which made my country free. I will trust in my God and in the United States of America. I am sad to report that at the end of hostilities in North Vietnam, we left 1,437 still known alive Americans in captivity. No effort was ever made to see them return to the United States. Then in 1992, I believe it was January the 13th at 1.02 a.m., then President William Jefferson Clinton signed a presidential executive order relegating all POW MIAs to KIA BNR, which stands for Killed in Action, Body Not Recovered. With a stroke of a pen, in the dead of the night, our comrades were written off. And the only reason is that it was expedient. It was easy. The American Biker is the last voice for POW MIA issues. And I want to thank you today. I see a lot of patches out there. I see stickers on motorcycles. I see American uh, POW MIA flags that fly. It is so important that we make a stand that we demand from our elected officials that when we send someone into harm's way, we bring them home every time. So please, do your part. Call your congressmen, your senators, your state officials, and let them know we want a full accounting. Would you observe a moment of silence with me, please?